Hello everyone, this is Duck 2, welcome to another Curse Forge install tutorial. So, this is pretty much gonna compare prior methods and then showcase in that what's changed. So in the past you'd have to use Jump Loader, which would be pretty much you put it in to the mods folder, put your fabric mods in, and Forge or Fits Forge mods would not be loaded, because when you would, and this is the way I interpret it at least, is you typically only before had Forge. Oop, come on, exit. So create a new profile. You'd only have Forge before. And then it would just be, that's the only mod loader thing available. So you would then put Jump Loader in the mods folder. You would then have the profile here. You hit play. It does its process of loading the game, which would be just, you know, the general, it loads things up. And then Fabric would be somewhat applied after or pushed in. So it would apply a Fabric part in between and not load forge sort of i don't think it disables forge but i'm pretty sure it just pushes fabric as like the mod loader part to load um so yeah that's pretty much what jump loader did and then you had vanilla to twitch which was just a whole you get stuff from the vanilla sort of installation process and then these folders that usually generate with that process um or after the game is loading to the title screen at least, I think, then um, you'd have that, um, and then you put those in the install folder, which, I already got that, what am I doing, here we go, um, so you your mods and your stuff there, but technically you'd be putting those in here, so you'd put your version, which would be your 117 or whatever other profile in here, and then you'd put your um, fabric and other stuff there. So that's for that. So that's how those worked. Now how you do things now at least is that you've got just the button, if you just saw that, so the option here. So you can now select Fabric or Forge. Uh, there's no Forge 117 as of the making of this video. But you can select Forge or Fabric. The latest loader version will be perfectly fine. If you, if you want to use it for 114, you're good to go. Um, I assume for anything older than that, it's obviously not going to show. Nope, it's not support it. 1.8.9 doesn't support Legacy Fabric, and I know the Curse of Watch doesn't support Beta 173, so there's no point in that. So yeah, there's no Legacy uh, Fabric support, but there is 114 and higher Fabric support, so you're good to go. Oh, I'm choosing support 114, that's interesting, I can test that for that though. And Rift is also not supported. There's no Light Loader option either, because I assume they're not going to do that. No Rift or Light Loader, I don't think. Anyways, so since this is a 117 tutorial, we'll stick to that. So you just select your option here, name it what you want, latest loader version's fine, and is what you probably need for 117 anyways. And then you've now got your profile created. Now, Fabric API is generated right after the profile's, uh, the mod pack instance is created. So you don't even have to get Fabric API, it's already there. From there, you obviously just do your typical add more mods type of thing, that's fine. You've got this up, it says Fabric Loader there, it's not like the vanilla to Twitch one where it's just like, uh, it struggles and you have to keep reselecting it. You can just hit play and you're good to go. Very simple, you don't need an extra mod, you don't need other folders and other processes and making it complicated. It is now built into the launcher and you can easily play Fabric and it's what probably many <laughs> people, the players of Fabric devs have been waiting for. For ages, since the request back when Fabric was a thing, I think. So yeah, we've finally gotten there to the point where it is now easy to just click a button to say, I want to use Fabric in the Ghost Forge launcher. We've made it. So yeah, and we'll just wait for this to load, of course. Uh, my guess is that you don't need technically this or this anymore. Uh, sorry, this or this anymore. I'm not sure about that when it comes to uploading mod packs. My guess is you don't, but I'm going to do a test on that at some point and see what the case is because of these changes. And uh, if it's successful, then you'll know that that's the case. I'll probably put a link to that mod pack in the description. It's not going to be the one that I have a Let's Play sort of in the progress of. Because um, it's more like pre-releases and it's got a bunch of stuff from mod rinse, so I can't really do that here. But I'll come up with some simple mod pack for a 117 test upload and uh, see how that goes. But that is pretty much it. Um, it's great that we've now gotten to this point we do just have a selectable option instead of it being we need two types of workarounds to try and get somewhere to finally do it. So yeah, 
Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Just thought anyone would be curious to see this, because it's, it's quite cool that we finally can get to this point.